hello 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 welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is the it is who it is rosie rosette 2020 look my arms and my hands they're just not so you know all that rigmarole that i normally do in my um in my intro it's not happening today so anyway that being said i want to discuss um the racial tension or violence against I'm just going to go ahead and say blacks. Well, no, no, because it's not just blacks, but against um, Asian Americans in, I'm going to say the Bay Area. I think one man died in Oakland um, who was attacked by, he was attacked by a black man. And then there was a lady um, down here in San Jose who was assaulted and there were some racial slurs targeted towards her being Asian. <sighs> I'm not discounting that there are issues with Asian Americans, especially since the pandemic, okay? I'm not discounting that. Nor am I saying that I have a problem with Asians because for the most part, I don't. I actually, um, I got a text from a guy who's Cambo Cambodian um, from my job saying how much he misses me. Not that, you know, it's going on or whatever, but we were close. Like, actually, I'm close to a lot of Asian people at work. I mean, you know, it's, I'm not going to say I don't see color, but I see spirits. And actually, the guy who told me that he misses me or whatever, I was like, what? You know, I was asking him, what is up with his spirit? Because he was just like different. Um, and I, you know, I hug and talk to, you know, all people. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're white or black or Mexican or Asian or whatever. I've been, I've been to Vietnam. I've been to Cambodia. I've been to Bangkok. I've been to China. So if I um, had an issue with Asian people, I would not, especially I wouldn't be wasting my money to travel over there. That being said, I remember when I was in Walmart a couple of years ago on Story Road. Now on Story Road, there's a large Vietnamese community in that area in San Jose. Anyway, um, I can't remember what happened, but I was in line and there was a Vietnamese man in front of me. And for some reason, we got into it. I don't know why or whatever. But anyway, um, he told me, that's why your people are slaves. No, he said, that's why your um, people are dying. That, no, that's why the police are killing your people. I mean, it was just like, or maybe he said all three of them. And I was just like, I had never had nobody say that to me. I had never in my life, I think, so I'm 51, I have to be about 48, 49. I had never in my life and in all of my travels had someone blatantly say that to me. And he was Asian. Now, like I said, I've been to a few countries, you know, over in Southeast Asia and I've been to China, whatever. What Asians think about black people are not that high. I, they don't have high thoughts of blacks. And I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying all of them, but the stereotypical thoughts of black people's from an Asian perspective, and I, I, again, I can't speak of all Asians, I can't speak of all black, it is not that high. And you know, China, I'm talking about the whole gamut, China, Asia, Cambodia, you know, all, all of them, Indians, they're, they're considered Asian, is, is, they don't think too highly of black people. Now, am I advocating for violence to be held against them? No. Am I advocating for violence to be held against black people? No. So, you know, granted that, you know, there is a lot of hostility now 
towards Asians because of the pandemic. But what what about us? What about all that has been going on to us? Is I you know. Asians are not that innocent. They're not. No, no. I I told you what the guy told me. That's something that you just you don't you don't say. You don't say. You you honestly don't say. You know, and so and he was an older man. He was an older man. Um so all of this hostility that you know Asians are getting, hey, well, welcome. Welcome to the real world. Because my people have been getting this since what? The beginning of time since we hit, you know, over here, or whatever. So, um, I mean, do I have sympathy? Yeah, but I have sympathy for my own too. And, I, you know, especially the, what the guy told me. Like, you just don't say that. I, he honestly said, you know, that's why the cops are killing your people. Who says that? Who said, you can barely speak English, but you, he got that sentence out. He definitely got that sentence out. No, no. Um, I think there needs to be um, some type of workshops on all sides. It's just not a lot of um, hatred or whatever directed toward Asians. I think there's some hatred directed from Asians towards other people, towards other people, you, you, you know, um, and I think the whole gamut needs to be, um, the whole, the issue on a whole needs to be addressed because I remember when this is right before about a year ago in San Francisco, when this guy, this Asian guy had been attacked in Hunters Point. And the full story was that the guy was going through people's garbage. And one guy, I think he didn't want dude to, you know, go through his garbage or, you know, I thought that they thought that it was stealing or something like that. It wasn't like someone just ran up and attacked him. Now, I'm not saying that that doesn't happen, but in that incident, the one that happened in Hunter's Point, dude was going through people's garbage and that's something that you don't do. Now, I understand that, you know, you can... um recycle because I, I listen I, I got a bag of plastic bottles in my liver or whatever but if someone does not want you to go into their garbage you can't you can't do that now whether or not do can understand English or not that's not my problem that that's not my problem if you don't understand English if you the, if you're going through my property you know you, you can't do it or whatever so that's one incident but you know, it's not, to me, is not as one-sided as as the media is depicting it. it you know, it's, it's not as if Asians never do anything to anyone else. That's just like me saying Blacks never do anything to anyone else or Whites never do anything to anyone else or, you know, Latinos don't do anything to anyone else. So they're looking at the spike in and incidents towards Asian. Well, what the, what what about the spike of incidents towards blacks or incidents towards Latinos or incidents towards whites? I mean, as as it's as if like Asians don't do any crime, and that's not true. That is not true. That's honestly not true. So you know, if you guys are gonna address it, like uh, Mayor Sam Licardo, you know, he came out of out of his cave because you never see him anywhere. I've been living in san jose for 13 years and not no he has not been to uh, you know the mayor the, the entire 13 years but you never see him anywhere he's never on tv he's never in public like what are you doing you it's in san jose is like the third largest city in california yeah and you never see the mayor on tv you never see him anywhere you never see him like you know london Bree. she's on tv at least once a week if not once a day sam licardo you got to go dig for him so he even came out and spoke against i mean because there is a huge large uh, asian community especially vietnamese i told you about that walmart i was at they right next door they have their own mall i did a video on it restaurants clothing stores insurance perfumeries just, I mean, and it's beautiful. I think they're have they're building a movie theater, all Vietnamese, all. So they have a you know a very large community. Um, 
And for the simple fact is, I mean, you know, they're polite, but what they talk, how they talk about you in their own language, that's a whole nother story. I went to a lady, a nail salon, and someone told me who understood um, Vietnamese that the lady, the nail lady, was talking about me. Oh, I stopped going. I stopped going. She said she was talking about me like a dog. Oh, okay. Okay. But you know what? That's punk. If you're going to be a punk, t talk about me in a language that I can understand so we can address it right then and there. Don't be a punk and talk about me in your own language. No, honey. No, no. And then be like, and then when someone confronts you, like, oh, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> really? Oh, okay. That's how you want to do it. So, you know, all that sneakiness and all that. No, 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 no. Don't cry wolf after you didn't, you know, and I, this is not in every incident, you know, with a lady who got assaulted, you know, at the Duridon station, you know, I really, I don't know if that happened because she was Asian. I mean, you know, that's just like saying I got assaulted because I'm black, which, you know, okay. But I, you know, nah. You know, I don't know. I mean, the person did say some racial slurs. So, you know, maybe that is valid. But can we look at, you know, the assault rate on a whole? You know what I'm saying? Like the murders in Oakland. I don't see any protests or, you know, uh, Libby, you know, making a press conference over that. I'm not saying one is worse than the other. But listen, so you're going to make a press conference because the man attacked the older man, which is wrong. But what about making a press conference of all the the young men who are getting, who are dying in East Oakland? Where's that press conference? See, if you're going to do one, you got to do the other. Like I see these little news stories about, I think some little child got their, some little playhouse, a little playhouse, not a huge one, but a little playhouse smashed because of something and I was like, is this really on the news? All that's going on in the world and you talking about that? Bye. Bye.